doesn't take a genius to see that in most ways, this is a man's world. And let's just be honest, for thousands of years, many men have been using this dominion that they have over the world in abusive ways. Now, in some places in the planet, this is starting to shift, but it is embarrassing that even my own mother's generation was struggling with women's rights movement. For thousands of years, women have been facing powerlessness, and so many women in the world still do face powerlessness every day. Powerlessness is the reason that women have become so incredibly manipulative. If you would like more information on this, you can watch my video titled The Number One Reason You Can't Reach Enlightenment for Men and for Women. Women had control and power over almost nothing. The one place which we were allowed to have control and power was over the home and especially over children. It's with this in mind that for the sake of awakening, I'm about to expose to you one of the biggest shadows that has occurred within the female race as a result of this generational experience. It has happened as a direct reaction to the tyranny of men, and it's called the castration dynamic. So often women exact their unhealthy power and manipulation in the area of the home with a special emphasis on the children, and though there are many unhealthy ways that this manifests, one of them is affecting human society profoundly. Basically, feeling like we, as women, had no control over the men in our lives and their tyranny over us, whether it was brothers, uncles, daddies, husbands, we basically ended up with one choice. We became afraid of men, but could do very little about it. We could not be seen as equal. We were deeply hurt by them. So having no control over the actual source of the problem, we turned our sights on our sons. We turned our sights on the very thing that we had control of. Yeah, this should scare you. Because basically what we did is we tried to eradicate the man in our own sons. We made our sons completely dependent on us so they couldn't grow up. We taught them to be afraid of their own manhood. We taught them that there was something shameful and harmful about being a man. We sought to raise them in a way that it would be impossible for them to grow up and dominate us, or any other woman for that matter. We set up a dynamic where in order to get the love they want from us, our boys had to disown their masculinity and personal power. This is a form of castration. What this has done is it has castrated men on an energetic level. This castration dynamic was not conscious on women's parts. It's not like women woke up one day and said, I know, I want to completely castrate my son. That's not what happened. What happened is much more subconscious. It was an attempt on the part of most women to feel safe. And we couldn't feel safe around men. So we had to get rid of men. That was the subconscious cycle. Of course, this attempt to gain safety in this way has damaged society at large. It has damaged men, and it has even damaged women. Because of this castration dynamic, the shadow of men has actually done a pendulum swing from tyranny and that type of power all the way to passivity, where the divine masculine cannot shine through. You cannot make an enemy of manhood without simultaneously making an enemy or eradicating all of the positive aspects of manhood. Things like initiative, action, purpose, direction, movement, responsibility, strength, focus, fatherhood, generosity, encouragement, material abundance, transformation, and growth. We've created a society of men who have turned against a major part of themselves. As a result, they can't live into their true purpose. Many of them are developing emotional, mental, and physical disorders and illnesses that are a direct result of disowning this masculinity. And let's just be honest, the little side effect that most of us didn't see when we were trying to stay safe by castrating our sons is that we'd end up raising men who we're not attracted to. No one's attracted to a castrated guy. Their energy isn't there. There's no polarity. This guy is passive. This guy is not stepping into his power. He has no responsibility. This is the type of guy where we're like, meh. And instead of us turning into men and them turning into women, what's happened is that we have been left to do everything, to be both the woman and the man. Then we hate them for that too. <laughs> Many women are developing emotional, mental, and physical illnesses as a result of this as well. For human society to be genuinely healthy, what we have to do is to both step into our empowerment. 
This is not going to happen if women seek to gain more power by making men decrease in the amount of power that they hold. Not at all. This is about women fully embracing the full power of divine feminine at the same time as men fully embracing and embodying the full expression of divine masculinity. And what happens is when you maximize the potential of both of those energies, there's a natural balance that occurs. When this is done, you do not see the shadow expressions of either gender. Instead, you see their full potential. To understand more about this, I have two videos I want you to watch. The first is The Divine Masculine, How to Awaken the Divine Masculine Within You, and Divine Feminine, How to Awaken the Divine Feminine Within You. The time has come for women to clearly see that this is what we may have done, may currently be doing, or may do in the future if we're not aware of the fact that we keep trying to stay safe from men by taking the man out of our sons. We need to be awake enough to face our own pain relative to men rather than preventing our sons from becoming men. And the time has come for men to see this dynamic clearly so they can break free of it and own their own masculine energy for the first time. It's right for you as men right now in the world today, if you've been part of this castration dynamic, to feel angry, to feel like you were used as an accessory, to feel like you can't actually be who you truly are. I want you to be aware of something. Human beings have a tendency to set each other up to feel how they feel. That's what's been happening. The way that you feel having your masculinity taken away from you is exactly how women have felt for thousands of years denied of their own power, can't be who they really are, used as an accessory, really, really angry. But if you have the bravery and the strength to own your own masculinity, then you can be one of those rare men walking the planet who's not only improved your own life immensely by doing this, but who can also prove to women that it's not being a man in and of itself that makes women unsafe. We must help our girls become women and we must help our boys become men. This is something that is sorely missing from modern society. We must question our societal concepts about femininity and masculinity in order to do this as well because so much of these concepts like men don't show their feelings or women don't do sports are complete BS. But if we do any less than helping our children embody their full essence, and yes, quite often this also includes the gender they came in with, then we are doing no justice to their life at all. We're inhibiting their potential instead of adding to and enhancing it. Have a good week.